Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, April 23rd. Thank you again for taking time out of your schedule to be here, joining us in prayer. Prayer changes things, amen. As a church, we are a praying church. We go in the power of prayer, and we believe for lives to be changed. And I know there's been many lives changed. You know how I know that? Because my life was changed. Amen. Since I joined Team Jesus, all is good. Amen. Doesn't mean I don't have no troubles. Doesn't mean that we don't have no tribulations and persecution and all that. But the greater one lives inside of us. Amen. So our Bible reading today is Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 28. The scripture that I shared a little bit on Sunday, verse 10. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save them that were lost. That was me. Hallelujah, that was me. Jesus Christ came to seek and to save us. If that was you, put a little something there saying, that was me. Man, I needed a Savior, and I got the greatest one, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, let's go through our stuff here today. So our states that we're praying for in the United States is Alabama, four and a half, four, almost 5 million people, 49% evangelical Christians. Minnesota, 1.3 million people, 14% evangelical Christians. Today, our prayer focus is scripture engagement and Bible translation. The nation that we're praying for is Brazil. Brazil is a big nation. 213 million people, almost 25% evangelical Christians. Amen. All right, I got all the prayer stuff here. I got the prayer cards here. We're ready to pray on this Tuesday. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Abba, we start off with praise to you, for you are worthy. It's because of you that we live and move and have our being. I thank you for the joy of our salvation, and I thank you for our blessed hope that we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. I thank you for the blessed hope that you have given us in life also, Lord, hope and expectation of good, that good things are going to happen. When sickness invades us, Lord, we know it's going to turn around. When, when tribulations or trials or persecutions or temptation, we know that you will deliver us from each and every one. So we say thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Lord, I'll do that. Right now, I lift up our elderly that are with us, and I pray for supernatural strength. I thank you by the power of the Holy Spirit that better days are ahead. I thank you for guidance, direction. I thank you for sharp minds that we have the mind of Christ. I thank you for strength. I thank you that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I thank you, Lord, for wisdom, Lord, wisdom of the age, ages, age, Lord, that we have age and that we have wisdom, Lord. I thank you for prostrate shrinking. I thank you for brains growing in wisdom and knowledge, Lord. I thank you that Moses' eyes were not dim, that we have good eyesight. I thank you that our hearing is well, and I thank you for uh, just vibrancy in our lives, Lord. The wanting to get out and walk and keep this body moving, Lord. Not shutting down in Jesus' name. And I thank you for that. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week. We pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. We pray, Almighty God, for those that are hurting, those that are in need, those that are lonely, Lord. You know, when my wife goes away, I get a feeling of what it's like to sit by myself and eat dinner, to not have someone to fellowship with, to talk with. I pray, Father, for those that are single, widowed, whatever it might be, to give them the comfort that they need, that you would be the husband to them, Lord, and that you would meet their needs. I pray for them, Lord. Many of them love their mates, and, and then death, that invader, that cruel master out there that has been defeated by Jesus Christ and one day will be defeated forever. Hallelujah! Oh, does that excite me. Maranatha, 
Come, Lord Jesus, come. So we lift up the prayer cards before you, and we pray for fellow brothers and sisters. Lord, we lift up today in our prayer focus scripture engagement and Bible translations. I think of these many groups that are out there translating the, the Bible. Yeah, they've translated the main languages. Now they're trying to get the dialects and the, the other, and they're using AI and computers in different ways to get it done quickly, Lord. I heard one testimony, Father, of, as the Jesus film was being shown and the voice was changed to the language of the people, they said, Jesus is talking our language. Woohoo! Hallelujah! Use great things like the Jesus film, Lord. And Lord, help these Bible translators to figure out these dialects, these ways that words are pronounced, and scripture engagement that There'll be good talk and good fellowship around the word of God, be it in small groups, be it in house home churches, be it in regular churches, that, Lord, we stick with the word of God. We are a church that has stayed close to the word of God, and we're not leaving it in Jesus' name. We're not leaving it. We lift up the United States before you. We pray for our executive, legislative, and judicial branch. We lift up Alabama, Bible Belt, Minnesota, not a Bible Belt. And we pray for these two states, Lord, in our union. And we pray for the people there, Lord. Nations will come, nations will go. Peop uh, cities will come, states will come, states will go. But Lord, people. We lift up the governor of Alabama, the governor, governor of Minnesota, mayors of the cities there, Lord. And we just thank you. Again, we pray for our executive, legislative, and judicial branch of our government. We bind up evil people in Jesus' name. And we just pray right now in Jesus' name for lives to be touched, Lord. Lives to be touched. We lift up Biden and Harris, Schumer and Johnson, Roberts. We lift up Murphy here in New Jersey and mayors around this country. We lift up this court case that's going on in New York with a former president, and we just pray that the truth would come out, Lord. The truth would come out. We bind up evilness in any way. We just pray the truth. That's all, the truth. We lift up our world before you. We pray for Brazil. We pray for the nation of Brazil, and we pray for the 213 million people there, Lord, and we pray for their salvation. We lift up the Christians that are there, that you would use them mightily, the churches that are there. But we also pray, Father, for this nation, Lord. We lift up the nations of the world before you. We begin by praying for Israel today. Things are heating up again as they're celebrating Passover. We see these, they, I saw the video of that car ramming those two people, flying them through the air. How evil, how evil. We saw the videos of what happened on October 7th and then to hear the testimony with no regrets of these people saying, yes, we raped them girls. Yes, we murdered them. We murdered that family. We did it because we got to get rid of the Jews. Lord, we see what's going on also in our schools where they're saying from the river to the sea, that's genocide. That's genocide. But Lord, even though the whole world comes against Israel, you you will stand up for them. And we as Christians that are here stand up for them. We lift up Jerusalem before you and we pray, come Prince of Peace, for there'll never be peace in Jerusalem until the Prince of Peace comes. We lift up our world before you. We bind up this anti-Semite spirit, the Holocaust spirit, the Hitler spirit. We break that. We pray for nations, Lord. Nations will come and nations will go. But Israel's the only nation that you made a covenant with through Abraham. So we pray for the nations. We pray for the people of our world, Lord, in Jesus' name. I also lift up before you today Jordan, Syria, Azerbaijan, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Kuwait. Every one of these is below 1.5%. Of, of evangelical Christians. 
Here the gospel was preached. Jordan, John the Baptist, and on and on here. We pray for these lands. We pray for the entire Middle East, Lord. And we pray for the people of the Middle East. The sons, so many are the sons of Ishmael. We pray. They, you said you would bless them, Lord. But Lord, yet they become so evil towards their brother. We pray here, Lord. We also lift up before you different organizations. We lift up One Hope, Open Bible Churches, Open Doors, Operation Mobilization, Opportunity International, Partners International, and Pioneer, Lord. We pray for these today. I lift up Samaritan's Purse, Moaz Israel, Alliance Defending Freedom, and we pray for these groups, Lord, these groups that are doing, sharing the gospel out there. Now we lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church, every member, attender, and guest, and we pray your blessings upon them. I pray for my brothers and sisters that are with me also, that the Lord bless the body of CFFC, use the body of CFC, bless us to be a blessing, Lord, we thank you for that. I pray for these that are with me today, and I pray your blessing upon them and their families. I pray for their health, even if they don't know what's going on in their body. Right now, in Jesus' name, I just thank you. If any invading cell is there that would try to bring cancer or cripple them in any way, we rebuke it. We command it to go in Jesus' name. We pray over our bodies from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet that the Lord blesses up us and keeps us. The Lord makes his face shine upon us and is gracious to us. The Lord lifts up his countenance upon us and gives us his shalom, shalom. Now we bless you, Lord, and we thank you for this new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be very glad in it. Lord, when I see that beautiful moon up there and I say, look at the way it just floats, only God, only my God, only the Lord Jesus, the Word, who became flesh and dwelt among us. Now we love you, sir. We honor you and we exalt you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woohoo! I'm pumped up. Glory be to God. Thank you so much for joining with us. Please go ahead and share this. Give it a thumbs up. Also, goes a long way. Have a great day. God bless.